So I'm going to do a search for a Drupal color box and I'll jump to the project page. Again, the URL is going to start with drupal.org slash project. If you click the image here, you can see an example of how Colorbox works. It has an overlay. You can see a darkening behind it where the content of the page is displaying. And then it shows the image in a box along with navigation tools to go between multiple images. So this is definitely a more conventional approach to showing large images on a website. I'll scroll down and let's select the 8.1.1 version here. I'll copy the link address. I'll go back to the site. I'll go to extend and install new module, paste in the URL and click install. Now let's enable it. Check it here, click install. Let's go back to our manage display settings for the blog entry content type. So I'll go to structure, content types, blog entry, manage display. In images, we now have image and color box. This column is called format and these options are called formatters. You'll probably run into additional modules that you'll end up using that also add formatters for particular field types. A formatter simply displays the contents of this field in a unique way. So let's select color box and let's configure it. The content image style is going to be how the image displays in the content. Let's set this back to thumbnail. We can set the image style for the first image. This is probably if we want a large image for the first one and then smaller thumbnails for the next one. In this case, we want all of our thumbnails to look the same. The color box image style allows us to set which size we want the image to be when it pops up in the overlay. Right now, none is selected, and this seems fair for now. Later, if we wanted to, we could create a specific image style for the overlays. We'll leave the options for gallery and caption at their defaults and click update. Let's save these settings and let's see if this works. So we'll go to content, we'll go to our blog entry, and now when we click on an image, it's still showing the full image. So what's going on here? 